What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Zero, and today, everyone, I am going to be replacing Keemstar on the show because he is feeling a little bit under the weather, everyone, and with that said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing on the show for today because I found this an extremely awesome opportunity. I was going to be able to do the show. I decided I am going to do today's show on something a little bit different. I'm going to do today's show kind of a what-if sort of of show to the extent where what if Drama Alert represented more than just a YouTube news based channel? What if it represented a gaming news channel or a esports based news channel as well or it had multiple different branches? So with that all being said everyone, I want to get into the show for today and this one is going to be around the entire world of gaming and esports news and I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into what it all means and without further ado, let's get right right into the news. Our first story is coming from Destiny. So Bungie actually announced that Activision-owned studio Vicarious Visions is now working on Destiny. So yes, guys, Destiny is actually being worked on by a Activision-owned studio, Vicarious Visions, and that's really exciting. I'm excited to see kind of what direction they are going to move Destiny's universe in, and I think that this is this is obviously a huge move that they're actually, you know, partnering with Bungie and they're doing this to further expand the universe. Let me know in the comments section below what you all think about them doing this. And let's move on to the next story. This one is coming from Dot Esports. They actually tweeted out saying that an esport gambler actually made $12,500 on the E-League bet. Yes, everyone. So if you click on this link, it brings you to a page which reads, one Optic Gaming fan took a big risk betting the Counter-Strike Global Offensive team would reign supreme during E-League Season 2. Sports betting website Betway gave Optic gaming 500 to 1 odds of winning the tournament. As Optic moved through the tournament, folks began to notice the potential large payout should they beat the odds. First, the North American Counter-Strike team had to qualify for the 16-team global tournament, then take on E-League Season 1 runner-up Fnatic in group play. Through all the years of having a dedicated esports trading team, we thought we had seen it all, but this 501 shot has left us with egg on our faces, Betway's Alan Alger said in a press release. We're only too happy to pay out on what is our largest price single esports winner in our history, although I can confidently say we won't be underestimating Optic Gaming at the next Counter-Strike event. After an impressive run in the group stages, pushing Fnatic and Team Envious out of the tournament, Optic took decisive wins from Mouse Esports and FaZe Clan, facing Danish powerhouse team Astralis in the finals. Optic Gaming won 2-1 to take the victory and $400,000 in winnings, and as a result, one lucky fan took home just over $12,500, which is insane, guys. This is a huge story and I'm really excited and I, I feel that it was really neat to have that there was that one Optic fan that had all the faith in the world on Optic Gaming so they bet everything on Optic going all the way in E-League. For those of you who did not watch this incredible run that Optic Gaming made at E-League Season 2 they did end up being Astralis obviously and this was it was a huge event and it was crazy to see that these underdogs, Optic Gaming being a North American CSGO team were able to take out Astralis in the finals which was insane. This one lucky winner let's just say he is definitely sitting lucky right now and with that being said let's move on to the next story which is coming from red reserve so red reserve is a huge call of duty based team everyone that was started by phase members red actually surpassed 350,000 followers on twitter congratulations to them on surpassing such a big milestone on twitter and moving on to the next story this one is coming from gamers so gamers actually tweeted out saying wild turtle has returned to team solo mid and this is a huge thing for for Team Solo mid to be pick, to have the return of Wild Turtle. This guy's an incredible player, and I am excited to see kind of him moving forward and see how much pace and how much progress he's able to make coming back to Team Solo mid. And that moves me into my next story, which is coming from Immortals. So Immortals is another big esports organization. They welcomed a new member. His name is Cody Sun. He is the new Immortals ADC for the next two years, guys, which is extremely exciting. He is actually a marksman. This is very exciting for him, and I'm very excited to see kind of his progress moving forward with Immortals and see kind of what he does in the near future. And moving on to the next story, this one is coming from the Score Esports. They actually tweet out saying Wraith resigns with Samsung Galaxy. So this is a League of Legends team, guys. Samsung Galaxy actually has a League of Legends team and Wraith actually resigned with the team, which is awesome. This guy is a fantastic player. I cannot wait to see what he does moving forward. I'm sure he has a very bright future ahead of him. And moving on to the last story, this 
one is actually coming from Casey Neistat, so this is not regarding the gaming world. But with that being said, I felt that it would that this was something that was really neat that kind of caught my eye today. Casey Neistat actually tweeted out saying, "Rewatch all of Casey Neistat's vlogs in sync with your friends, just like live TV." It's called 24/7 Casey Neistat, guys. You can actually go and watch all of Casey Neistat's 419 vlogs, and this is crazy because you actually can sync it with your friends, and it's pretty cool. You can actually watch it like it's live TV, and I think that's incredible thinking that you can watch all 419 vlogs from Casey Neistat. He obviously, this guy, it's unfortunate that he ended up ending the vlog, but with that said, you can still watch all of his vlogs kind of in sync, and there's a website for this, guys. You definitely, definitely should check this out. If you haven't seen some of Casey's vlogs, he has so many of them. Every one is kind of unique in its own way, so I would definitely recommend checking that out. That is going to end off the news for the day. I hope you all did enjoy it, and if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and stay positive. Drum Alert Nation is now over 1.7 million subscribers.